Hey everyone, welcome back again to Motion Triple Five channel. In this video, I'm going to show you simple ways to create slow motion and speed up effect for your clips. This is an original example clip I downloaded from Pixabay. And here is the effects I made from that clip. Okay, let's do it. From my computer, I have already created a new project. And first, let import the video clip for the effects into the After Effects project panel. Next, I create a new composition, and have the resolution settings at 1920x1080 pixels, at 30 frames per second as usual. For duration, it's up to you to set it, depends on the length of your clip's effect. I make duration for 30 seconds. For composition name, it doesn't matter, just name this whatever you want to. I call it, motion. Once all sets, just hit OK button. Next step, let drag the video clip from the project panel into the new created compositions layer panel. As you can see from the timeline, my clip is around 6 seconds in length. I want to create the slow motion somewhere in the middle of the clip. And the speed up at the end of the clip. OK, let's zoom in the timeline to see more frames. Now I manually move the time indicator slowly along the timeline to preview the clip in order to select the good movements for my video effect. I decide to start slow motion at 1 second 15 frame. I press star key to mark this position, so I won't miss it later when I move the time indicator away. I continue moving the time indicator forward to pick a stop point of this slow motion effect. I will mark at 2 second 7 frame to stop the effect. Just hit star key again to place the marker. While the time indicator still point at the second marker position, or the stop point. Use combined keys, Control shift d in order to split the original clip layer into two separate layers. Next, select the bottom clip layer from the layer panel. Then point the time indicator right at the first marker position, or the start point. Use combined keys, Control shift d one more time to split this clip layer into two separate layers. Now we have totally three layers from the layer panel. For easier to work on them, I rename the bottom layer as Unchanged, the middle layer as Slow, and the top layer as Fast. I also remove the unneeded markers from the Unchanged layer and Fast layers, by right-click on one of the marker within the layer and select Delete All Markers. It's time to make the effects. Let's work on the slow motion first. Right-click on the slow layer, select Time, then select Time Stretch. From the Time Stretch settings, you can use either the Stretch Factor method or New Duration method to stretch time of the clip. I will use the Stretch Factor because it's a easier and quicker way compared to the New Duration method. I set to 600% for the Stretch Factor. It means that the slow motion effect will be six times slower than the original clip. At the hold in place setting, make sure the layer in point is selected, then hit OK. From the timeline, the slow layer is extending its duration and being overlapped by the fast layer. Let reposition the layer from the timeline so that the clip working properly. I move the time indicator to the stop point marker position of the slow layer. Then hold and drag forward the fast layer on the timeline while hold shift key. And when they are coming close enough, the first frame of the fast layer will automatically snap into position where the time indicator is at. Now let's work on the speed up effect for the fast layer. Right click on the fast layer, then select time and select time stretch. From the time stretch setting, I change the stretch factor to 50% in order to faster it two times the original clip. It's not done yet because the duration of the composition is longer than the length of the clip. Let move time indicator to the end of the clip, then press N key to bring work area to the indicated position. To trim the timeline to within the work area, right click onto the timeline of work area and select trim comp to work area. And that's it for today video. Let's play the clip result of what we've made. Thank you for watching and see you next time.